D.C. fed up with gun violence and taking their message to state lawmakers in Raleigh. Today's UNC March for Our Lives demonstration comes after that deadly shooting on the Chapel Hill campus two weeks ago. Tamara Scott joining us live at the General Assembly now, talking to demonstrators there. Tamara? Hey, good afternoon, Joel and Amber. Emotions were extremely high this morning inside when these students came to voice their concerns to these lawmakers. Students from UNC recounted what happened on August 28th and how it was life changing for them and how they're now asking for a change of heart from Republican lawmakers. So Representative Laura Budd and Senator Greg Meyer gathered with not only UNC students, but several young adults who have been impacted by recent gun violence. The events on UNC's campus last Last month where an associate professor was allegedly gunned down by a student of his sent panic and terror throughout the campus. We heard today this prompted many of the students here today to speak up on something they say they've been silent on prior. Take a listen. We have had shooting after shooting after shooting for decades, yet we don't ever seem to do anything about it. This is no issue of mental health. Every country in the world experiences relatively high rates of mental illness, but no other developed country experiences the rate of gun violence that we do in the United States. Now, when you call out this complacency to certain officials, they will wag their finger at you and tell you that this issue is much too nuanced to properly address. Well, I tell you, I grow weary of the pro-gun legislators in this body citing nuance as an excuse for their inaction. What I believe they fail to realize is that their inaction in and of itself is a form of action. Now, Representative Bud and Senator Myers say their goal is to change the hearts of Republican lawmakers, but if they can't, they will work to change who holds their seats. Now, today, in just about another hour, UNC students will gather here outside of the General Assembly to hopefully make their voices heard and talk with these representatives to make a change. Tamara Scott, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Making their voices heard indeed, Tamara. Thanks. And meanwhile